while we can acknowledge our challenges and we have many challenges we can acknowledge them we can talk about them but we cannot allow ourselves to be paralyzed by them we cannot use them as excuses or roadblocks to slow our momentum no matter what hand we are dealt with we have to play our best game because i know one thing people do not invest in whining they invest in winning <laughs> we have to show our winning hand and where is our winning hand you are our winning hand our biggest asset this year as i visited first year classes i was heartened to see students filling our classrooms every seat was taken they were excited eager and attentive many wore red shirts as you can see even though it was not friday <laughs> they want to be on campus and they want us to be on campus to teach them to support them and to guide them we must embrace this excitement we are fortunate that we do not have to look outside of our workplace to find a worthy charitable cause to make a difference in in this world our job itself which is helping students to succeed and helping faculty find breakthroughs it in, in itself it's a source of gratification and true worthy cause i can end this address by quoting some poet or author or a statesman but today as we have joined the big 12 i want to leave you with the words of a football coach i had the good fortune of knowing uh football coach bill yeoman whenever he found me feeling discouraged and there were many times especially in my early years he would say to me it's not easy being a cougar but it's worth it today and every day i thank you for making it a worthwhile journey each and every day for me but most importantly for thousands of our students whose lives you are touching on behalf of myself but also on behalf of all of those thousands of students who are whose lives are being transformed by you i want to say thank you for everything you do and thank you for everything you will continue to do with that i end and go cooks go cooks